quilts welcome back to my channel today I am doing a works in progress video I have a challenge with my quilt gill that we are to work on works in progress or UFOs throughout the year my small group is starting July through December of 2018 so it will go for about a year and a half and then my large gill is actually doing it for about 10 to 11 months. So for my small gill, I got put in charge of keeping track of the UFOs and the progress of those UFOs. And so I just wrote this on my binder to just keep track of the information. So I need to make a cover for my book. But inside, I put a little pocket page protector that has all of our rules included so I'll just go quickly over the rules projects must have been started in 2015 or earlier so they can't be 2016 or 17 projects each member must list at least 10 projects at least 10 completed projects are expected by December 2018. You can add more projects during the year. However, we're asking that you keep the list to 20 uncompleted items. If you finish the majority of your list, you can add more than 20. If adding more items, asking that they email me a photo and give me the various steps of what needs to be done next. Each member is paying $5 to the kitty and we are going to use that money to buy prizes so at the end of December we'll be having a drawing. How we're going to do the drawing is that we're going to give you a credit for every step that you complete in the project. So if you have made all of your blocks, if you have sewn a completed top, if you have your borders added, if the top is quilted, and if you add the binding. And we did not do one for a label because you should, if you got that far, you should already have your label completed. And then, as I said, we'll have the drawing in December 2018. So in addition to that, I have taken each person's sheet with their projects. I made this in Excel so that I can check off. Red area is where the UFO started. So they don't get any credit for that. And then the open fields, I will be keeping track of those. And at the end, they'll get a ticket for every space they fill. In addition to that, and I'm just going to show you my page. I then went into Word and I made a list for everybody with the photo and the starting point of their UFOs. And so that's what I'm here for today. I am actually going to show you the projects that I am planning to work on for next year. I have 18 items on my list at this point and I will be putting photos over here as I talk about these projects and then if I have a video link I'll add a, a I the little information where the I box will drop down I'll put a link to the video if I have a video on that particular project my first project is Judy L's Memorial Day patriotic quilt this quilt was started I think in like 2010 and it was she was doing it so that we could do charity quilts for I'm assuming it was for veterans I can't remember because it's been so long ago but I actually got the top completed and and then I never did get the borders on or get it completed or sent to her so I have that one on my to-do list 
My second work in progress is a patchwork plus quilt shop that's in Wood River, Illinois. That did a Marty Michelle sampler. I need to add borders to that. It was made with those Marty Michelle little small templates. And I will tell you that I don't enjoy the Marty Michelle templates. Some of them are so tiny that I feel like I'm going to cut my hand. But I do love the quilt top and the blocks you can make with them. At some point, I just started substituting and just cutting my pieces with the rotary cutter and, and not using the templates at all. My third one is the racing car stack and whack. I've had this one out there for a while and I just want to get it done. It's so pretty. I love the colors. And my fourth one is a flowers block swap. I used to have a Yahoo group that we did swaps. We either block we either swapped blocks or we did round robin quilts. So we did a combination of both things. And this flower challenge was one of my favorites. Number five is staycation quilt. It was a Lynn Brown quilt pattern. It just needs to be quilted. Number six is simply woven. And it's a project that I got off of Moda Bake Shop. And I'm undecided if I want to add a border to it or not. So I have a question mark of whether I'm going to add a border or just go ahead and quilt it. And then I have my two-in-one pinwheels. I had those blocks that I had started years ago. And I just recently finished those. And I did a video this year. So I will put a little link to that video. And I have two of those quilts that I made. So that's my number seven and number eight. My number nine is my modern explosion quilt. I have a pattern that's called the exploding star that I show you very detailed how to piece various versions, not this particular version of the exploding star, but it has four different ways that you can make the exploding star. I had made this one when I was teaching classes and so I kind of got tired of making the traditional exploding star so I made one a little different. Number 10 is my coffee quilt. I just used a lot of coffee fabrics and then I just framed them with some Kona cottons. Number 11 is a zigzag quilt from a f jelly roll that I actually purchased from Walmart. And I just wanted to get rid of it and then I added the background fabric. Zigzag number two is one that I made using a Moda jelly roll i can't remember the name and on that one it was one of those jelly rolls where you have two of the same fabric strips my number 13 is my zigzag mini quilt and i showed you this one in my works in progress or my projects update video that i just upload it so I'll give you a link on that. That was the first thing that I did for this challenge. I actually put the border on this particular quilt because Cynthia of Iowa Star Quilts was visiting our gill and I wanted to show it to her. Number 14 is my quick and dirty quilt. I also showed you a video of me doing feathers and I completed that quilt so I will put a link to that up above. I'm getting credit for that as well. And number 15 is my plaid apple core quilt. Now, this one is going to be a challenge because it does take a while to do those. And I can only work on it now when I can lay out the entire thing. So I have to basically work on it at retreats. But I added it to my list because I really wanted to give myself a challenge on completing something. Number 16 is my Christmas scrap quilt. I worked on this quilt many many years ago i actually laid it out at work in one of our conference room many many years ago and i got all the rolls labeled and haven't sewed a thing together so i want to get this top completed and then number 17 is a calendar year quilt i was with some group and i want to say it was the dear jane group but i'm not absolutely sure where everybody was assigned a month and then we all made a block pertaining to that month so some of the months could be questionable but these are the blocks that i received i actually made the first block 
with the snowman for the month of January. And then my last UFO is Let Freedom Ring. And I need to take out the quilting on this. It's been sitting for quilting for quite a while when my Singer sewing machine decided to go out of t get out of tension I was quilting this quilt and so my tension is pretty bad I had uh, quilted the inside center of the quilt so I am going to remove all of that quilting and now since I have the long arm I will go ahead and just put that on my long arm machine now I have a book that has at least 80 different projects in it but I didn't get permission from the girls to show you their project so if you're interested in seeing more works in progress slash ufos let me know in the comment section and i will check with them to see if it's okay for me to list their projects so that's it for this video and i will see you next time bye bye